Gemini, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late June, early July 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we can dip our toes into energy and see what's going on for the lovely Geminis out there. I hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic and had a great birthday this year. Let's shuffle it up one time, see what we got. And go ahead, let's talk to me. And yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. And before we get into the full reading itself, and at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot, just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you could lean in on, which is always interesting. But let's get it going here. Let's get this first card out for the Geminis, please, my gods. Let's dip our toes here, see what's going on my friends oh that card did like a flip in my hand that happens with almost all the gemini readings where i get cards that almost flip out but they just like flip in my hand and go back into the deck it's so bizarre okay we have the femme fatale showing up here my friends before we get too off track this is a powerful energy it's a beautiful card but there's a little aspect of danger whenever she shows up but we'll talk about her lots of symbolism there before we do though if you're new here i'll be speaking about the june subscriber surprise towards the end so you might want to check that out also if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye you know i'd greatly appreciate it but enough of the promo into the reading let's talk about this femme fatale real quick she does remind me of the queen of wands in some type of ways you see her she's in red she's holding the rose there's venus fly traps at the bottom there's a red bird so of course this could represent some beautiful confidence it's very confident and sexy and it's very attractive when we see it so maybe some of you are feeling confident attractive you might be focusing on your looks in this time when this card shows up however i just need to say this card can also represent temptation something that looks good on the outside might have a little danger lurking beneath the surface so whenever this card shows up yes there's good positives to be had with the confidence and the aesthetics but just keep your head on a swivel with this type of energy because there might just be certain things that are right out of view there's a little aspect of temptation and danger here so i mean for some of you, you might just be feeling extra attractive in your own right which is a good thing but let's just put her down right there we're going to get into tarot now I would say that first card doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. And yeah, I'm going to get you three of these in the upright before we get the intuitive juiciness going. So shuffle it up here for you, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. My guides, talk to me. What's up with my Gemini friends? So let's talk about last week's reading, Gemini. It was titled An Unexpected Action. Now remember, those energies could bleed over from week to week. It doesn't just have to be last week's. But I was getting the vibe of someone doing something that was like a little outside of the norm or doing something that like you didn't see coming. That was a big vibe I was picking up last week. So if there have been any unexpected actions, hopefully they've been of the good variety. But you know how life goes sometimes. Let's see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you, right? Because we could be seeing your energy or someone you're linked to. Let's get you three cards. See if we get any links to that femme fatale in this week's reading. Let's get you three. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. All right. There might be, you might be super focused on something. We'll talk about this because in position number one, you got two cards that came out with each other. You have the five of swords, which can be a harsh card sometimes, but you also have the ace of pentacles right next to it. So for some of you, maybe you feel like you have to fight and scrap for every single opportunity you get or determination we'll see we're gonna have to piece this all together let's get one more all right because the five of swords could be a warning sometimes as well let's get you one more thank you ten of wands all right so yeah we're gonna have to talk about this inter interesting mixture of elements we got going here gemini so you just discern it with your own story as we go through because we have various different topics that we're going to be taking a look at. So let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings before we get into the intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, I just need to mention we have different elements showing up. We got air, we got earth, we got fire. They mix together in interesting ways. These could be different areas of life showing up, different topics. So it could even just be one whole big storyline. But the way the energy is flowing like this hard nose competitiveness into the money influx and opportunity there's a heaviness on the back end as well so there might be a couple of warnings for us to take a look at energetically at the very least let's go through one by one position number one we have the five of swords 
Been seeing a lot of fives throughout the whole entire Zodiac this week. Now, the Five of Swords in its positive, because remember, all cards have positive and negative. This could be someone with tons of determination. This could be someone who is looking out for their own self, looking out for their own well-being, which isn't always a bad thing. But on the other extreme, this could represent an individual that's selfish. This could represent an individual that is combative. In its toughest case scenario, this could be someone that is narcissistic in their ways where they just only care about themselves. They don't care about anything else. They're going to do what they got to do to come out on top, which is why I find it extra interesting that it's next to the Ace of Pentacles because this could be a little bit of a cutthroat type of energy. Okay, but we'll see. For some of you, this could be your determination paying off in some sort of way. We don't always have to ride the challenge message. Like we could always take the good. Now, moving to the center, we have the Ace of Pentacles, one of my favorite cards in the whole entire deck. It's a card of golden opportunities. Now, all aces are opportunities, particularly this one. You see that hand outstretched with that pentacle in it. For a lot of you, this could be an influx of money coming into your life, which would be a good thing. This could represent a focus on your monetary well-being, your material life, work things. But when I see this, I think of a very good, prosperous, golden opportunity coming in. So when it's next to this card of someone fighting, scrapping, if it's not cutthroat, this is someone that's just determined to get what the, what's theirs, right? Or someone to get what they deserve in some sort of way. So we'll see what's up. It doesn't all have to be warnings here, okay? Now, moving to the very back end, we have a card which also has similar archetypes to this Five of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. Well, let me get that ace right back where it belongs, right? There we go. So the Ten of Wands. You see this person, they're carrying that big old bundle of sticks on their back. In the classic rendition of this card, the person is walking up a hill with this bundle of sticks. So in the positive, it's someone that's going to keep trucking, keep moving, keep pushing. doesn't matter how heavy it gets. It doesn't matter what situations or tests are in their way. They're going to keep moving. So in this spread, there is a whole mess of determination in a good way. However, this card could also attach more warnings. This is a very heavy energy. It could be mental, emotional, physical heaviness here. So when I see this often when someone's not feeling well, when someone's feeling emotionally zapped, you see this card show up when someone's feeling sick or there's some sort of illness when this card shows up. So this could be a warning about your own health, vitality, and wellness, okay? Not to overdo it, take some breaks, take a rest when this card shows up. The Ten of Wands, in its roughest sense, could be somebody that's feeling a little guilty. Like, they just have so much weight happening right here. So you see how this could be a warning, but like I said, there's a lot of determination. Even if there's tough situations and tests happening, there's a beautiful determination here. So with all that being said, I want to dive deeper. Let's jump in and clarify. All right. Get a good shuffle here for the Geminis. Let's reset this deck. My God, talk to me. What's up with Gemini, please? And yes, my friends, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Five of Swords. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Gemini, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, Five of Swords time. Why is it here? We've got five of swords here for Gemini, please. Thank you. Okay, we have the hanged man in reverse. Yeah, this feels a bit of a sour energy here, my friends. Okay, this does feel like someone like springing into action, making a move. Okay, if you're not in the mode, I will say this. If you're not in the mode where you're looking out for yourself and it's like, all right, I'm just going to stay in my lane, do what I got to do and pay attention to my own journey because this could simply be it. The hanged man in reverse is like, all right, I've made my plan of action. Now it's time to move here. And we kind of were seeing the action based energy last week. This could absolutely be a warning. OK, about somebody like purposely picking or starting some sort of fight. So in this time, watch out for someone like poking, prodding, picking, like trying to get a rise out of you. Like that's a big thing. Like if that's not something that you experience this week, maybe this is someone from the past that loves getting a reaction from you. Intuitively, that's what I'm feeling. Hanged man in reverse could represent a Scorpio. 
Okay, sometimes it's even linked to Virgo. So, but if you're not connected to these signs, I am getting someone like poking, prodding, trying to get a reaction or start a fight. So I would take that as a warning, okay? I, especially with this on the back end, there might be someone trying to get a reaction or get a rise out of you on purpose, okay? I'm not feeling tons of malicious energy just yet. We'll see what shows up in the rest of the reading, but I am getting that vibe, all right? So we're just gonna keep pressing forward or it's somebody making a move, but it doesn't feel like the nicest, okay? I would tell you, like, if it didn't, it felt harmless, but this is someone looking out for themselves as well. Like, there's there's a little bit of a lack of empathy in there as well, so do it that way you will. I already told you that's a warning, so let's go in on that five, I mean, that ace of pentacles. I mean, if this reads like a whole story, we might see how it all played out, right? Let's see why that ace of pentacles is here. Thank you. Nine of Wands. <laughs> not so fast, not so easy there, my friend. This is someone who is very skeptical here. We got the Nine of Wands underneath this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. I was going to say beware of false opportunities in this time, but you might not even need to hear that. Like this is someone who is on guard. We have the Nine of Wands under the Ace of Pentacles, all right? There might be new things coming in, whether they are new money, new money opportunities, new work opportunities, or things connected to that where like it might seem too good to be true okay or either you feel that or something's going to come in like nah there's more to that like there's more to that there's more detail that we're not hearing that's too good to be true because there is a skepticism here and it fits along with the theme that we were picking up here in the front end like someone trying to gauge a reaction get an action get a reaction put a plan into motion so when i see this here it's like not easily fooled so if somebody is going to put plans into place, I don't feel them getting over on you. Like you might see it coming from a mile away. I would still take it as a warning though. <clears throat> Pardon me. The wounded warrior is someone who's been through a thing or two. This is an energy of someone who's been through life. They've been through experiences and they're not easily fooled. So whether this is the new opportunity coming in and you just think that it's too good to be true, or it's someone who's on guard, who is weary, leery, we're going to move over to the Ten of Wands. So the warning I was talking about in the beginning, I might not even need to give it. right? Because they might not progress in their plan, whatever it might be. Because there could be someone like trying to put a plan into play. So let's see what's up with that Ten of Wands. Interesting stuff here, Gemini. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is someone that is not happy with the result here. I'm get, why am I getting an energy of a rejection? I'm getting the energy on the back end of a rejection, Gemini. Whether it's a rejection of behavior, a rejection of a person, a rejection of a way of thinking or being. The Two of Pentacles in reverse is giving me that energy of like something not working out to how someone had planned it or there being a rejection. Take from that what you will. But I feel like those are the two big things. Like maybe someone thought they had like a golden plan and they tried to move forward and they got rejected. Like with the way this plays out to me, it's like, no, nope, yeah, not so fast. We're not proceeding with that. So just be wary in this time. There might be different types of rejections, whether it is work related, personal relationships, or just rejecting a feeling, right? Like it's always important to remember that in tarot, we could be speaking about a lot of things. Maybe you're tired of feeling a certain way. Maybe you're tired of thinking a certain way. There is energy of rejection here on the back end, though, or someone being disappointed with something not going according to plan, okay? That's just the vibe I'm picking up on this whole thing. Take it if it hits. I know we have, like, lots of different elements, lots of different things happening here. This might just be completely somebody else's different energy. It doesn't have to be yours. Um, let's go through and do a quick recap here, because whether they are separate things or one big story, it's interesting how it all plays out because we did have a couple of warnings show up. Position number one, we have the five of swords with the hanged man in reverse, the first thing I said. If it's not you looking out for yourself or being on a solitary path, it is somebody wanting to put a plan into motion or kick a plan into action. Like, all right, now is go time. But another vibe I was picking up here was like, beware of someone trying to poke and prod or get a reaction. Like this is somebody who loves getting a reaction out of someone like for fun I guess but there's a little bit of lack of empathy here moving to the center we have the ace of pentacles with the nine of wands whatever this plan is whatever it is that I was warning about earlier it's not going to work all right this person is not easily fooled they're not easily tricked in the center it's like yeah that might be like if it's an opportunity coming in 
too good to be true. There's got to be more detail to that. But it could be all linked because on the back end, I was picking up that rejected type of energy. We got the Ten of Wands with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So you knowing what's good for you and what fits into your life and what doesn't is big here. Whether it is you rejecting a way of thinking, being, feeling, a person, a work situation, whatever it might be. This is someone saying like, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Like that's not working for whatever reason. Okay, and I'm just feeling it here. So Gemini, please take a screenshot of that if you want to look into it further. I'm going to get you a shadow card. Interesting the way this played out for sure. But let's see what's in the shadows for you. I mean, there's not much to say about it, right? At the very end of the day, whether you know if something fits for you and if something doesn't, you know what's best for you. No one could tell you that. Let's get one shadow card here, though. Some shadows for Gemini, please. I always like to use the Shadowland Tarot for this portion. There it is. Okay, and, and this shows up just in the shadows. So I'm going to have to reiterate it. It's a card that was in the reading itself. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the shadows, which is in the main portion of this reading as well. So the Ace of Pentacles, like I was saying, is usually a card of golden opportunities. So when I see it in the shadows, it's usually one of two things. Beware of false opportunities. Watch out for someone trying to dangle something in front of you. That doesn't have a lot of weight, doesn't have a lot of merit. But another thing with the Ace of Pentacles in the shadows, it could be Spirit asking you to like really tighten up a money situation or a work situation, right? Like don't spend out of control, out of hand or anything like that when the Ace of Pentacles is in the shadows because there might be certain topics connected to money that aren't the healthiest for whatever reason. So yeah, Gemini, that's what I have for you this week, my friends. Don't click away just yet though. I'm going to give you the details of the June subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the May subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced in my community tab after this week's fire and air readings. But for the month of June, I'll be giving away two copies of the beautiful Everyday Witches Tarot. It's one of my favorite decks out there. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed which I'm sure you already are. And second, let me know down in the comments, out of all the cards in this week's reading, which one explains how you're feeling currently right now. Which one are you vibing with? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of the month, I'll put the winners in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love. And I'll see you next time.